What's up everyone? I'm Sun and Vignana and this is Through the Windscreen. So today I have the Mercedes-Benz E250 Cabriolet. This is a 2011, an affordable car which can make you actually look rich and a car that you can also use on Sunday drives or beautiful days such as this one along the freeway or on a beautiful country type of road. But anyway, I'll talk more further about this car. Without further ado, let's start this review. Okay guys, so let's talk about the engine of the car. So this car is a 1.8 turbo, 150 kilowatts of power, as well as 310 newton meters of torque. I don't know why I'm showing you the engine bay, but that's what we usually do in car reviews. Pretty clean engine bay, nothing much to it. And yeah, so as you guys can see from the front of the car, this car looks a bit different from the usual sedan version. It's a bit more pointy here towards the front, and also you can see from the lights too that they're a bit closer than the usual lights. But yeah, this car also has bi-xenon LED lights which is very nice if you're driving along dark countryside roads as well as these nice aggressive lines that go along the bonnet as well as straight down the side of the car and the body of the car to a nice robust back that you'll see back there also this car sits on 17 inch wheels this is more of an elegant design which is very fitting for such a car because I mean the usual people that buy this car are the older people you know and young people can buy this car too so with the interior right I've grown fond of this color, which is a peanut butter color. I used to not like this color at all, but now that I see it with this combination of the silver and the peanut butter with the black accents, it actually goes very well together. But more about the interior later. So now the boots, right? So, in the boot of the car, you can also fit your own golf clubs. And this is with the boot separator up, right? You can fit your own golf clubs, a whole lot of clothes, and there's a boot separator here, which you bring up to allow more space if you're not planning on bringing the roof down. But if you want to bring the roof back down, then you have to pull this and it will open up the boot separator where the roof will be stored. So let's talk about the interior now. Okay guys, so we're inside the car and as you can see, I've dropped the top. It's a beautiful day, why not, you know? And again, I want to emphasize, the peanut butter interior, I don't hate it. Honestly, I don't. I used to dislike this thing so much, but now, in this car, it just sits very well with the car, with the silver outside and also with the black accents. It gives a nice elegant look and feel to the car, you know, with the leather seats all around, which I would not have it's any other way so also in it, this car the fuel consumption of this car is 7.1 kilometers per 100 k's which is good in my opinion for such a car this big and this car is a petrol as you as you may have seen you know and i like the right quality of the car the car is really handling the bumps the uneven parts of the road very well it's not the most comfortable but for a drop top which which usually are quite stiff in suspension this is pretty smooth, you know, it has maintained the quality or the standard that the E-Class has put up for its standard, for its class of cars. And also, one thing I want to also detail is that most the infotainment system of this car, you get the navigation, the usual Bluetooth, which is very vital for me as a person who loves listening to music. Bluetooth connectivity is on 100, and you see as well, as well as this thing, right, you're able to connect your phone and make phone calls, the usual Bluetooth things before I even ramble on about the Bluetooth. This car also is the blue efficiency um, model variant of this car. So you have the eco button where the stop and start, you know, it's a bit more frugal when it comes to fuel consumption, especially when the road is more open and the car's able to just, you know, be able to regulate itself with the conditions of driving. So as you guys can see, right, there is, it's a drop top, so it's obviously going to be some road noise. You can hear the cars passing you. But it's not obstructive nor is it intrusive. It's relaxing. And on that, this car has a feature which is my favorite feature in any convertible or cabriolet. And that is the air scarf, which is right here behind me. So it's for those chilly days when you're busy driving and you want to drop the top, you know, which you could and you should. And you just don't want to feel any cold coming inside. So what the car will do, what you can do is that you press the button for the air scarf and warm wind will be blown on, like it'll brush you nicely, you know, on your neck and serve the purpose of a scarf, as well as an air cap, 
correct me if I'm wrong about that term, but it's what usually pops up here on the top, just above the windscreen of the car. So, so another thing I want to highlight to you guys about this car is that, so it is a soft top. That's my, one of my issues with this car is that it's a soft top. I'm not a huge fan of soft tops because it doesn't feel as safe as a hard top. It doesn't feel as sturdy as a hard top, you know? But yes, again, for this type of car, it's not a car, you can use it as a daily, number one. That's the nice thing about it. But number two, I mean, you'll be dropping the top most of the time when you drive this car anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. But in terms of security, that is something that people will usually worry about. So now maintenance for this car. Now the basic principle or rule with cars applies. You service your car, it'll treat you very well. If you don't service your car, it'll come back for you. So for the storage compartments, right? This car's got a couple of storage compartments here. I mean, as you can see, I have my phone, cup holders, a nice parcel shelf here on the side, a glove box, the usual stuff, right? And also in terms of space inside, at the back, now it depends how tall the person in the driver's seat or passenger seat is. For me, I could never have anyone sitting behind me. But this is not an unreasonable cabriolet where you'd have seats at the back, but they're for like babies or people with no legs, basically. Yeah, at least now you have some space. Someone can sit behind like Mbu right now. Someone can sit behind him. And yeah, sit comfortably rather. So it gives you an element of it being a family car, like type of sedan type of situation. And also at the same time, a nice drop top for you to chill and relax. And yeah, I don't lie, I'm enjoying myself in this car, bro. Also, the interior of this car, right? So this car has parking sensors, as we see here. It has heated seats. I've already mentioned the air scarf. And also it has these alerts on the on your side mirrors, right? That help you, that help alert you about the car that's approaching you on your blind spots that you don't indicate and go into the car. And if the car is pretty close and you do indicate, the car will alarm you by beeping, you know, repetitively at a rapid pace. Okay guys, so that's the review of the Mercedes-Benz E250 Cabrio. I hope all the information that I've relayed makes your decision easier to find your next car or your next Sunday drive car or your next toy. But yeah guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes footage as well as our Facebook page. Alright, shout out.